I have a <clears throat> open letter again to Moriel and the people that still support it. I keep saying I've said everything I have to say about it, but I just have to speak out and reach out to you. So please hear this. I'll open with the scripture, Revelation 18, 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues, Revelation 18, 4. Dear Moriel people, I have a question for you. How is it that you stood by or stand by silently as Jacob Prask openly slimes honorable people such as Sally Fredericks, Jan Markell, and recently Jackie Alner, as well as her late husband, Bill Alner, who was unable to defend himself? Do you have a conscience? How do you stand by idly as such blatant, false, and injurious witness is born against people who truly serve the Lord. Jacob lashed out against the owners in revenge for Jackie's very moderate and even respectful five-part account of her Moriel memories. I couldn't believe how low Jacob went, making false and vile assertions against the owners' marriage, implying all manner of sin on the part of both of them, and intentionally seeking to hurt both of them and their memory. Will you stand by and lend your support to this, Moriel? How could you? Look at the scripture I opened with and realize that to do so is to participate in Jacob's sins with him and the judgment that is coming upon Moriel. I urge you to repudiate Jacob's vile attacks on Jackie and Bill and on the other women he has outraged by his cruel invective. Notice how intense it is against women. Jackie and Bill Ulner are servants of God who have dedicated their lives to the defense and confirmation of the gospel. They did so with class and through excellent gifts of writing. It's incomprehensible that so many who follow Jacob Prash give him a pass on this outrage against their marriage. I'm praying that John Holler, Marco Quintana, David Lister, and all of the other Morielites will repent and turn from participation in this pathetic spectacle before the Holy God brings the judgment. Shalom.